Hey y'all, coming to you from International Headquarters of Scotty DTV, but I was at the 2018 SEMA show and I came across a 1970 Chevelle I think y'all are going to like. Let me get the camera turned around and we'll take a quick look at it. You gotta love that. That's just, you know, although the generation before this one has grown on me, I've always been a fan of this generation, Chevelle. I don't care, two headlights, four headlights, none of that really matters to me. Um, because at the end of the day, that's what I would do to it. And the words that I would use to describe this car are just clean and finished. You know, I, I know that, you know, I look at this stuff all the time and everybody pays attention to the details, but it just strikes me that you've got to look really close at this car because it doesn't have bright paint and wow, look at me features and, you know, stuff like that. It's a, it's a, kind of a sedate kind of a car with the color and all but look at them LED tail lights how cool is that I mean they look like yeah if you were gonna build one of these in 2018 this is what it would look like I love the graphics not overstated graphics aren't used to really draw your attention more to kind of like break up um the the body color God, who doesn't like a cow inducted hood I mean, if you're going to have to have a Chevelle, then you want a Collin Ducted hood. I like the, the ground effects. I like how it sits low. But very nice. I like how they used the, brought the accent color down underneath here. I think they did a really nice job molding that bumper in and making that chin spoiler. I think that... that ties in well and looks good I just think the whole car does I just think that you know the detail it's all in the details again when you see some of the crazy stuff I see and I love it I enjoy it guys don't get me wrong I'm not going one way or another I'm just I'm just trying to give you my my view of what this thing is and it'll always be cool nothing's done to it that I can see that will date this car 20 years from now this car will still be cool you could pull up, nobody's gonna, they're gonna be like, well, that's fresh, right? I mean, it's all nicely done, but it's not crazy custom. It's very modern, but yet it looks like what you would get from GM in 2018. Actually, yeah, let me be honest with you, it looks a lot better <laughs> than what you'd probably get from GM. But you know what I'm saying. I love the roll bar over the passenger seats in the back. I think that's a very cool idea. And then they use the accent color on that. Again, very nice. I wouldn't change a thing, except for its location, which would be right outside my door. But if I had it, I'd want to drive it. Oh, you know, and if you're going to have mirrors, I know everybody's like, ah, you got to have mirrors. No, you don't have to have mirrors. But if you're going to have mirrors, I even like the mirrors they, they chose. I think, they're, I think they, they're stylish and they fit the car and they're, they're not overbearing. And I think, you know, I don't know nothing but cool, and this car is cool. I think this is a LSA. I'm pretty sure it's an LS. But I think it's an LSA, supercharged. But very, I, I dig what they did underneath here. It's paneled, but you can still see the motor. I like how they did the firewall, too. That's a very cool pattern they used back there. I dig it. So there you go from the 2018 SEMA show, a 1970 Chevelle Pro Touring Convertible. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya! Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.